This is Christina from the Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries, and today I am bringing you the top winter reads as determined by the Newfoundland and Labrador Libraries. The books that follow are a selection of the most popular circulating adult fiction, nonfiction, and e audiobooks within the Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries for the winter season from December 2020 to March 2021. This list was created using a combination of statistics from our print collections as well as our e-library's digital collection. We'll start with adult fiction. The Woman in the Attic by Emily Heptich, a lonely salt box house on the coast of rural Newfoundland, a trap door leading to an attic filled with secrets and a trail of clues leading to a family's past that may not be what it has seemed. Already read it? Try Hideaway by Nicole Lundergan. The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. Twin sisters, once identical and inseparable, now choose to live in two very different worlds, one black and one white. Yet despite being separated by both miles and lies, their lives remain intertwined, and therefore the lives of their children are destined to intersect. Already read it? Try The Mothers by Britt Bennett. Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. Nature keeps secrets that are both beautiful and violent. Kaya Clark, known as the Marsh Girl, knows this, having survived for years alone in the marsh that she calls home. When handsome Chase Andrews is found dead, the locals in the nearby town immediately suspect Kaya. Already read it? Try Where the Line Bleeds by Jasmine Ward. Hideaway by Nora Roberts. A legacy of Hollywood royalty, a betrayal and abduction that resulted in scandal and trauma and a woman desperate to move on from a past that has determined to pay her another visit. Already read it? Try Shattered by Karen Robarts. A Time for Mercy by John Grisham. A dead deputy, a timid 16-year-old defendant, a lawyer determined to discover the truth, and a trial where everything is not as it seems. Already read it? Try Defending Jacob by William Landy. Next, we'll explore some of the top adult nonfiction reads. Too Much and Never Enough, How My Family Created the World's Most Dangerous Man by Mary L. Trump. Using her background in psychology, the niece of Donald Trump reveals and explores the dark, dysfunctional family history that would go on to shape the man who would become the 45th President of the United States. Already read it? Try The Room Where It Happened, a White House memoir by John Bolton. One Good Reason, a memoir of addiction and recovery, music and love by Sean McCann and Andrea Argon. Singer and songwriter and mental health advocate Sean McCann, along with wife Andrea Argon, tells the story of reaching international fame and finding rock bottom. McCann's Newfoundland childhood, shaped by strict Catholic faith and traumatic abuse, as well as the creation of the band Great Big C and his struggle with addiction, is chronicled alongside his wife Andrea's parallel narrative of mental illness, heartbreak, and determination. Already read it? Try Just Kids by Patti Smith. Almost Feral by Gemma Hickey. In July 2015, Gemma Hickey undertook a 908-kilometer trek across the island of Newfoundland to raise awareness and funds for survivors of religious institutional abuse. This journey became much more than a physical one, as Gemma reflects on traumatic memories of abuse, assault, and depression, as well as reflecting on their ideas and beliefs surrounding identity, faith, love, and acceptance. Already read it? Try Wild. From Lost to Found on the Pacific Crest Trail by Cheryl Strayed. All Together Now, a Newfoundlander's Light Tales for Heavy Times by Alan Doyle. Adventures in Foreign Lands, a real-life ghost story involving an elderly neighbor, a red convertible and a clown horn, 
heartwarming childhood memories, and more. Alan Doyle offers a cure during the trying days of a global pandemic for those missing the cheery clamor of a Newfie pub where one yarn bleeds into another. Already read it? Try Son of a Critch, a childish Newfoundland memoir by Mark Critch. Becoming by Michelle Obama. Combining deep reflection with mesmerizing storytelling, Michelle Obama, former First Lady of the United States, chronicles her childhood on the south side of Chicago to her years as an executive balancing the demands of motherhood and work, and finally to her time spent at the world's most famous address. Already read it? Try The Truths We Hold, An American Journey by Kamala Harris. And lastly, we will check out the top adult e-audiobooks. This list was based off of statistics from our e-library audio collection only. Bridgerton, The Duke and I by Julia Quinn A lady too amiable to be truly desirable. A duke determined to shun both marriage and society, and a fake courtship that becomes anything but. Already read it? Try A Rogue by Any Other Name by Sarah McLean. Virgin River by Robin Carr. A recently widowed, grieving Los Angeles midwife and nurse heads to the small town of Virgin River in need of a change. And while Virgin River has its challenges, it also has small-town charm and a bar owner who may be just what the doctor ordered. Already read it? Try Any Dream Will Do by Debbie McCumber. The Body Keeps the Score, Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma by Bessel van der Kolk. Trauma is an unfortunate fact of life. Such experiences inevitably leave traces on minds, emotions, and even on biology, Renowned expert on traumatic stress offers new understanding on how trauma affects the mind and alternatives to drug and talk therapies. Already read it? Try Emotional Freedom, Liberate Yourself from Negative Emotions and Transform Your Life by Judith Orloff. Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. In 1945, Claire, a former combat nurse, is reunited with her husband on a second honeymoon until their blissful reunion is shattered when she touches an ancient stone ruin and is instantly transported to a Scotland torn by war and raiding border clans in 1743. Already read it? Try Chance of a Lifetime by Judy Devereaux and Tara Sheets. An American Marriage by Tayari Jones. Newlyweds Celestial and Roy are the embodiment of both the American Dream and the New South, until Roy is arrested and sentenced to 12 years for a crime Celestial knows he did not commit. Winner of the 2019 Women's Prize for Fiction and the NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Literary Work in Fiction. Already read it? Try Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. Happy reading! from your library staff.